We are announcing three impactful cases from my office in our nation's fight against the People's Republic of China's transnational repression activities. And today's charges send a crystal clear response to the PRC that we are on to you. We know what you're doing, and we will stop it from happening in the United States of America. Welcome back into Wake Up America. Pretty unbelievable story. Arrests have already been made in response to the setup and operation of an illegal Chinese police station right in the middle of New York City. For more on why the Chinese would want to do something like this, let's welcome in senior fellow at the American Conservative Union and former White House Communications Director Mercedes Schlapp, retired Air Force Brigadier General and military rep to NATO General Blaine Holton, author of The Coming Collapse of China, Gordon Chang. Great to have you all on on this Tuesday morning. Uh, Gordon, you're the expert on all things China. Why would the Chinese want to set up a secret police station right in the middle of Manhattan? Well, first of all, what they were doing is using that to track down Chinese dissidents, those who escaped from China, and try to force them back. The issue here is they did this because they felt they could get away with it. And they felt they could get away with it because for at least a decade or two, we have allowed China's Ministry of State Security agents and consular officials to violate our sovereignty. We've known what's going on. We've only watched it. We have done nothing to impose costs or stop it. And so I'm glad that the Biden administration finally decided that enough was enough. But the story here is that we've allowed this for a very long time. Yeah, Mercedes, that's my that's my next question. Better late than never, I guess. But why did it take the Justice Department so long to break this party up? Well, better late than never when it comes to also the spy balloon that we saw basically uh, go through most of our, our country, across our country, and gain uh, a lot of this sensitive uh, military information. Look, I obviously, when it comes to the Department of Justice, they're going to take time to investigate, figure this out. But I think to Gordon's point is that we have allowed, as a nation, too much time in allowing China's, China to really infiltrate our country in so many ways, whether it be in our universities, whether it be how uh, you're seeing the purchase of farmland by the Chinese. And now, obviously, you have this situation that happened in New York City. I mean, this is alarming. This is eye-opening. I think it shows that uh, the United States needs to stay aggressive when it comes to China, because for the Chinese Communist government, I mean, their goal is to stop uh, any, you know, Chinese dissidents from leaving the mainland and then obviously continue to track them when they uh, have come here to the United States. General, are there more of these police stations across the United States? Oh, yeah, there are. Um, we know that there's one in Los Angeles. And the only reason we know that is because of the excellent work done for years by the uh, Spanish-based organization called Safeguard Defenders. They've now tracked about 154 around the world, uh, three up in Toronto to in our neighborhood, and then and then one in L.A. The reason I believe that um, they're now bringing this to light and getting into it, it's just getting too embarrassing for them. They, they absolutely are not taking the China threat seriously. We can all speculate as to why that may be, whether it's compromise or, or, or for whatever reason. But if somebody doesn't button it up with the Chinese soon on all of these espionage layers and these uh, violations of our sovereignty, we're going to be in real trouble because the American people are, aren't really going to put up with this. And the idea that a Chinese police officer from Fujian could come here and collar a dissident and bring them back to China or create terrible problems for their families back home. That's not the American way, and that's not who we are. Yeah, and, and, and brazen, just right, you know, right broad daylight, you could see this police station. Gordon, um, was this working for the Chinese, this strategy of basically repressing and oppressing citizens in other countries who might be critical of China? Is that, is that an effective strategy? Well, it was effective in the United States, and it is especially effective in other countries, because there have been a number of people who have fled China who have gone back, who have been intimidated because they were hounded down by Ministry of State security agents or consular officials and decided to return. That's Operation uh, Skynet or Fox Hunt. And also, we have seen um, these Chinese officials and their security agents um, do all sorts of other things, just like intimidated Americans from exercising their First Amendment rights. Right? In other country, countries, 
um, China is more influential than um, the, the host countries in terms of, of Chinese dissidents. So, yes, um, China's been getting away with quite a lot, as General Holt has said. Mercedes, you are the communications expert. Why do you think we're not hearing about this story from the rest of the media? Well, I think because the, there's so much of the mainstream media or the liberal media, they're honed in and focused on uh, taking down President Trump. I mean, I think that that's one of the big things. I also, I, you know, they really give a pass to the Biden administration. It's very clear when you go see these press conferences uh, that happen in the White House that they're not asking these tough questions. We'll see today, obviously, there's some great reporters out there that uh, will, I, I'm sure, bring this up, but they have been able to simply uh, not have to handle this issue. But I, I do want to bring up a very important point here. This goes down to a broken immigration system. How did these individuals, these uh, you know Chinese government operatives, get into the United States in the first place? I think that's a very important question for the reporter uh, to ask the White House press secretary. And Mercedes, to you're speculating, but how do you think they got into the United States? It's, you know, this is where you, you start to really br ask the critical questions. I mean, we have seen uh, Chinese uh, individuals and many from uh, over 100 countries coming through right. the southern border. I mean, we don't know. But that is a critical question that needs to be asked. Yeah. Uh, so we can crack down on who is coming into the United States. Great point. General, about 10 seconds. What happens next here? What happens next is we're going to expose a whole lot. There's been a lot of money flowing out of these uh, Chinese organizations into political coffers. Eric Adams has been the recipient, others. That's why you hear so much silence out of D.C. on this. It's mm. deafening, and it's on both sides of the aisle because Chinese money is everywhere. Great point. Mercedes Schlapp, General Holt, Gordon Chang, thanks so much for breaking that down for us. Good to see all of you. Thank you.